Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time online clothing reseller. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some free reseller tools that you could be using to make more sales in your business. So if you're not new to my channel, then you've previously heard me talk about an app called Flip. I started using Flip a couple years ago to consign excess inventory that I had. I have lots of inventory of clothing. And so it's just another outlet that I've used to have items consigned for me by their pro sellers to make more income. However, as of recent, Flip has created a Poshmark sharing tool as well as a cross listing tool. I've talked in the past about how I use these tools in my business and I highly recommend it to any new or seasoned resellers that may or may not be using them already. So in today's video, I wanted to walk you through these tools and show you exactly what they look like. But before we get started, I first want to say thank you to Flip for sponsoring this video. And as a nice bonus, they are going to do a giveaway. If you sign up using the link below, I will pin it in the comments as well as put it in the description. You will be entered to win one of four $250 Amazon gift cards. I know. So on top of free reseller tools, you can also be entered for a chance to win one of four $250 Amazon gift cards to do and purchase whatever you like on Amazon. Maybe you need a thermal label printer or a photo booth, whatever your heart desires, you're gonna be able to purchase it. Again, use that link below to sign up to use their free reseller tools and you will be entered to win. Pretty easy. All right, let's get into the demo. All right, guys, so here we are at joinflip.com. I'm gonna click on free reseller tools. You're gonna see it changed the banner here and we're gonna click on login. So now that we are in our little dashboard here, the first thing I did was I actually went over to settings, which is up here in the right-hand corner. And this brought up all of my accounts that I wanted to connect to the cross lister. So you see, I have done that here. I don't have Facebook currently hooked up, but that is an option if you wanted to do so. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click over here to the sharer. And this is where you can make adjustments to all of your settings. So I did put in sometimes here. So the first thing I was going to show you is the scheduled sharing mode. You can set up a number of different times that you want your closet to be shared. So 1201, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m. And then this one's just out of order, but it would be 445 and then 9 p.m. But you can play with those and set it to exactly how you want it to go. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can select the number of items to share or you can just share all. So if you don't put anything in there, it's just going to share your entire closet. But if for some reason you only wanted a set amount shared, you could absolutely do that. The next one would be the sharing order. You can randomize it. You can keep it in its current order or you can switch order. And to be honest, I don't know what switch order is, but maybe it says here if we click it. Yeah. So share your closet. Oh, from top to bottom. You know, I know some people like to keep it in like a specific order. So if you have things ordered in the way that you like, keep current order would actually be a great option for that. Sharing speed. So we've got fast or slow. And again, if we just hover over the question mark, it's just going to tell us the difference. So three to five seconds or five to 10 seconds and then share to the party. So there are parties that happen throughout the day. I think there's, I think three parties at least, or last I checked there was. So this is just gonna share to the parties. Again, it just reiterates all that information right there. You can choose continuous sharing. So if we click on that, you can select share my items and then input the number one share, uh, or excuse me, one times every day and wait between 30 to 60 seconds. <laughs> minutes with each full share. You can do number of items to share and put that number there, or you can have it as share all. Sharing order again, if you want it randomized, if you want to switch the order, the speed, and then share to the party, or just once. You can have, you know, you just want to share your closet this moment, just this once. Again, you can select share all. You can select the sharing order, whether you want it to go fast or slow. Now, personally, I think scheduling shares is probably the best option, because it's the most automated, it's the most hands-free. You're not going to have to really be involved with that. You will have to keep your computer open, but other than that, there's just not really anything else that you need to do, which is just really nice. <laughs> they do have these other features here, auto offers. So this one's a really great one in my opinion. Send an offer to new likers every five minutes. Then this would be the discount offer that gets sent with the amount of discounted shipping. And then you can set a minimum selling or earning type. So you can either 
set it to the minimum selling price or the minimum you want to earn for it. So for instance, you could set the earning to you want to make at least a dollar. If all else fails, you're going to still get a dollar out of it. And then you can also exclude items listed in the past number of days. For myself, I would usually set this to two and it would probably be more than a minimum earning price of a dollar, but you get what I'm saying. So if you wanted, then they wouldn't get uh, offers on brand new items. You know, it would be on the website for at least a couple of days, which is nice. They do have a bulk offers option. So if you don't want to run that auto offers and you just want to run sales on your own schedule, this is also a really nice option. You can just set what you want the offer amount to be, what you want the shipping discount to be. And then again, going back to price and earnings here, there's a follow feature. So if you want your closet to follow people, that's an option here as well. You can follow and then unfollow people. Community share so it is a way to get to the ambassador status is having a certain amount of community shares and maintaining that you can set it to share somebody's closet specifically or directly from like a main page and then this is just other uh, information there then if we go to the cross lister here so this is where you're going to be able to set items to cross list which is really great so as you can see there's some items here but we're going to hit new item and they have this universal form here so this is where you're going Going to upload your images. You can put a maximum of 16 images. Now, every platform is different in how many images they actually allow. Like for instance, Depop only out allows like four images. You want to put as many as you can here because for the platforms that allow lots of photos, then you have that option. You can go in here and put your title uh, up to 255 characters here because some platforms may allow a title that long. I believe with Poshmark and 80, it's somewhere around 80 characters. I would recommend just limiting yourself in that way. Description, you can put here, brands, condition, all of these are then just going to be drop down boxes. So there is a list of lots of different brands, your SKU, zip code, some of these are optional, but some are helpful for you on the back end. You're going to put in your package weight, your listing price, and if you want, you can put in your cost of item, and then you're going to hit save. And once you hit save, what's great is that you'll click into this Poshmark draft here, and it's going to put all of that information in here for you, which is so nice, <laughs> makes things so convenient. So any relevant information that you put on that universal form, it's all going in here, which is super, super helpful. And then all you have to do, once all the information is in here, you're just gonna hit list on Poshmark and bam, it gets listed, which is really great. Again, same thing with Mercari. So again, Mercari is that 80 character title. I was wondering if they were one of them. Same with eBay. So there might be some drop boxes that you do have to fill in. eBay is usually the one that requires the most amount of drop boxes to be filled in, um, but it's not that difficult to do. Then just hit list on eBay and it's seriously as quick as this. So you're really only doing one listing and then just hitting publish for all your different platforms. And this is really an easy way to become multi-platform and be in a lot of different places all at once. Super duper helpful. And we're gonna go back to this main page here. Um, so again, you can just see that you put in all of your listings here. You can click the actions button here. You can mark items as sold, and then it's gonna delist it from the platform, which is so simple and so nice. You can also click over here, the analytics. Now this is today's date range here, and it's gonna show you your revenue, your profit, your number of sold items, listed items, etc., so on and so forth. All really great information that you can be gaining just from using join flips tools and all this is free so like i said guys check out the link below if you want to try the tools out at the very least you're going to be entered to win a 250 dollars gift card how awesome is that <laughs> who doesn't want 250 dollars? you can buy so many great supplies with that and you're already getting these tools for free which is definitely going to make you more money so i hope this video was helpful for you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye